So um, today on Soul Traveller, I am honoured to have Gitano Vivo. We're in the garden here right now in Dubai, so you're going to hear birds and planes and there's going to be a lot of cats around us, but we're in nature, which is great. Yeah. So Gitano is originally from Naples, one of my favourite places in Italy, lives in London now. Yes. And you are a, a Reiki master and also a healer and very intuitive. Yes. And you're here in Dubai right now um, doing a lot of sessions. So I'm lucky to have at least an hour and a half with him today. And I'm going to have my own little session. So first of all, Gitano, um, I know when you were a child, you were very intuitive and you had guidance and everything. Now as an adult, you, you are a Reiki master. What is Reiki actually? Because I've only had it once. Yes, well, Reiki is a healing technique, and it's uh, rather than, uh, you know, people say, well, you're a healer, you're a healer. I do not call myself a healer. I prefer to be called a channeler, because I channel, I'm a medium between uh, the universal energy and the person I'm seeing. So, like, I'm a go-between, like a, you know, like a medium, possibly. So, you know, I channel this energy, which is really pure, and the Reiki actually um, goes uh, and kind of take away all the uh, energy that the person does not need anymore, pushes it away through the feet chakra. And why is it that people's chakras get blocked and, and get stagnant? Well, what is it? Yes, well, it's the energy that has been there stagnating for all sorts of reasons, really. So we actually channel the Reiki energy through the chakras you know, you always have to visualize, like, for my school, of course, like, uh, the chakras to be like flowers. And uh, when we do a work, like, with the energy, the chakras kind of open up, and uh, so the flower is, like, blossoming. And it's interesting, because I walked in, and Gitano hadn't met me, and he said, can I talk to you? And he said, I can see there's a yellow solar plexa chakra that is, is blocked. And I went, what does that mean? <laughs> and it is to do with, he said, you're not very grounded. And it's, that's been very true for the past few years. So he spotted that really well. <laughs> so he's going to unblock that for me later. Now, I know, I mean, I'm sure you know about this, and I've talked about it. There is a very big spiritual awakening going on on the planet. And there is a shift in consciousness. And there is a thing called New Earth. And like you, not as extreme as you, but I've had guidance and downloads, as they say. And sometimes when you're receiving them, it can be quite overwhelming, especially at the beginning. You know, yes. there's a lot of people going through this and a lot of people call them crazy. You know, I was called crazy at points. Mm -hmm. How, what advice would you give to people and to a little bit of information about this rise in consciousness? The key, Poonam, for this is to very much working on yourself. Meditate daily and actually kind of Together, we can make a big difference. It's releasing a lot of things that you've carried, even through ancestral DNA and everything yes, to yes. release. Not only, but also um, with karma, for instance, you know, releasing all the karma, because now we are a very, in a very crucial point where, uh, you know, coming 2020, there is no more time for all these things. So we are really kind of, you know, in this, in this next few months, we really need to kind of clear all the blockages, working about ourselves, meditate with your inner child, with your inner self, and really kind of making this jump start. You know, there's, um, I, just, I feel like women, a lot of women are leading this way. And it's so nice to interview a man about this too, because you see a lot of women empowerment, women in spirituality, which, which I love, but it, I, I need the men to evolve as well. So it's nice to see you doing this. Uh, lately, released a book in Arabic called Healing the Heart of Mankind. And it is about this huge healing that is taking place for both men and women. And another thing is, a lot of people who are not in this field will call it very new age and woo-woo and hippie. But in our world, you know, people like, I feel like you or, or me or other friends are labeled as light workers, star seeds, indigo yes, children. Exactly. And they do talk about how these people are coming to the forefront to help spread this message and help the consciousness. Yes, yes. What do you have to say about yes, that? Because well, I mean, even my camera lady behind the camera right now, she, <laughs> she feels she's an indigo child, yes. Tony. And I was talking about star seeds yeah. and I feel like you're a light worker, obviously. Yes, I am. And uh, of course, we are all here to help people who are not actually awakened just yet. And therefore, we are really actually to plant some seeds, uh, not just here, but I mean, all over the world, of course, just to make sure that uh, when there is this very big awakening, people awaken inside themselves. Yeah. And it's, it's quite a scary awakening. So I think, you know, I know it was it's scary for me. And I'm sure when you were younger hearing guidance, it might have been natural, but people are saying, oh, you're a child, you're hearing no, things. Yes, yeah, we have gone through all that. I mean, you know, yeah. people calling me weird or kind of, you know, people think that, you know, I'm completely nuts and things like that. But this was in the past. Now I've made 
need uh, kind of a name for myself and therefore I'm actually uh, coming and going all over the places to help people to, you know, come to terms with certain things and healing themselves. It's interesting that you said people call you nuts. When you awaken, you realize the world you were living in and the people in it, in mainstream, are nuts. Yeah. And they don't see it. Exactly. And you're like, whoa, it's like sudden <laughs> turn. And you can never go back to living in that normal nine to five. And, you know, it's about a mortgage and this and that. It, it's so old. And it I is. feel like it's not where we came from originally. So that's how you resonate yes, with it. Exactly. Anyway, the people who understand what I'm saying will we'll figure this out. <laughs> yeah. So now, Gitano, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a healing. Yes, sure. So let's get this started. I'm going to kind of uh, balance, uh, uh, first of all, the two major chakras, which are the solar plexus chakra and the heart chakra. So I'm going to put my hand here just above the navel and the other one on your um, heart chakra and uh, we'll get just the energy moving. So Poonam, tell me, how did you feel? Well, the first thing is, I'm so glad I'm outside in Dubai because the weather's calming down. And, and the one thing I noticed, I was just focused on the birds and the breeze. Nothing else I really thought about. And the more you did it, I felt like the thinking was getting less in my head. And I didn't want it to end. <laughs> I really felt relaxed. Like, like I feel peace. Yes. That is actually what people always feel. They feel peaceful, they feel like they're relaxing. Some people tell me that uh, at the end of the session they feel like they're sinking into the, uh, into the table just because the energy is really, really, really so gentle that they just forget about the, you know, the outside world, really. Well, I think I'm going to sleep well tonight, I have a feeling. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. Yes, Gitano. likewise. We kiss in the Italian way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.